Thank you so much to Kate Colson for chairing that panel and for showing us the new routes that can be opened up to explore working in tech. Some great insights there. I'm going to tell you just a little bit about our last speaker. She's Amanda Slight, the commercial lead for the UK at Amazon Web Services. And AWS is a subsidiary of Amazon. It provides on-demand cloud computing platforms on pay-as-you-go. The range of services is, as you'd expect, big from virtual servers to content delivery and storing databases. And their customer base is also big from individuals to international companies and governments. We all know the power and growth that's happened with AWS in the last year. So how do you begin to manage that for the whole of the UK? What is the strategy for even more growth? And how do you keep your customers as happy as your stakeholders? Well, embracing tech has been key. We're going to hear the stories of some AWS clients like Morrison's and Aviva. Yes, there is a lot to consider when you're Amanda, but for someone who's previously spent more than a decade at Microsoft and has years of experience selling across Europe, the Middle East and Africa, I think her talk is going to take us in directions we've never considered. Please welcome Amanda Slight. Hi, my name is Amanda Slight and I'm the commercial lead for Amazon Web Services or AWS as we call it. Thank you so much for having me today. I'm delighted to be with you. My team and I are responsible for working with small and medium sized businesses in the UK to help them leverage technology and drive successful business outcomes. For those of you not familiar with AWS, we are part of Amazon and we have the most comprehensive and broadly adopted cloud pl platform globally, offering over 200 fully featured services. The goal of my team is to engage with SMBs across the country, whether they're already on their digital journey or about to begin it. We want to support them on their cloud adoption journey and help them to transform and differentiate their businesses. We fundamentally believe that these organizations will discover new opportunities to drive growth, reduce costs, and innovate for their customers. Ultimately, we want to help them to democratize and demystify how businesses go about building in the cloud and showing them the art of the possible. While focused on customers all over the country, we have a team 100% dedicated on the Northeast. And last week, we ran our first AWS innovation program. We engaged 150 customers on their own digital uh, transformation journey. This program helps them to reimagine their business leveraging technology. Our program helps them on a four step process from innovation right through to delivery. We'll tell you more about the results of this program in coming months. Now, as we reflect on our customers journey in the last 12 months, we've seen several success factors. We see customers who have a culture of innovation, those who are really thinking about how to differentiate their services, their business offerings, and to engage their customers in different ways. A strong factor in success has been where we see our customers leverage the AWS partner ecosystem. We have a thriving partner ecosystem here in the UK. AWS differentiates its partners in a tier model. We have three tiers, select, advanced, and premier. Partners progress through the status, through skills progression, and attaining certifications and competencies. Competencies are super important because they highlight the proven skills uh, of our partners and allows you, our customers, to navigate to the right partner based on your need. Our competencies are broken down into three areas. The first is industries, such as retail and healthcare. Use cases, such as Internet of Things, machine learning, and security or workloads such as Microsoft, SAP, and Oracle. Now, we find that this really helps our customers to understand which partners to use and to leverage the most appropriate partner for their business needs. Now, whilst we've engaged customers, not only over the last 12 months, but since we've been a team, my team and, a, my team and I have observed three key themes that I wanted to share with you that we've seen emerge whilst we engage with customers. Our customers ask us firstly for business continuity, the need for cost savings, and the need to drive continuous innovation. A great business continuity example I wanted to share with you is about Morrison's. 
Morrisons have 11 million customers a week trying to order food. And during the pandemic, this is definitely an essential service for, for people at risk and for the vulnerable. Now with staff working from home and limited capacity in their call centers, Morrisons reached out for help. Our solution was to provide Amazon Connect, a cloud-based omni-channel contact center, which allowed them to contact every customer ordering food delivery in a 24 hour period whilst maintaining a safe working environment for staff who were still working from home. The service was delivered in an eight weeks. The next example I wanted to share with you is a customer called Stream AMG. They are an over the top platform that supports sports club with streaming live games. Uh, Stream AMG recognized that the face of English football was changing radically during COVID. They engaged millions of users and needed zero fail over time. Working together, we delivered their service in a 12 week period. Aware of the huge peaks in usage during game times, they delivered 2.9 million streams, taking advantage of AWS API gateways, Lambda, CloudFront, and DynamoDB. Stream AMG also adopted Amazon Kinesis Data Firehose to collect and process actions and use activity in real time and stream the data for storage later on. The results have optimized. Uh, to a pay to usage uh, process rather than per user and delivered a fantastic customer experience. Moving on to cost savings, I wanted to share a great example of work we've done with Aviva. Aviva migrated their life insurance business from a legacy distributed scenario, reducing costs by 30% and improving their SLA from nine days to two hours. We have helped many customers to reduce their costs, not only by, by decreasing our own costs, by providing access to commitment-based contracts or fixed-based price usage. So some of my favorite examples are the innovation stories. And we've seen fantastic innovation stories from customers, not only on innovating new go-to-markets, but also in innovating in their business models. A great example of this would be Ipswich Building Society, who worked with a premier partner of ours called Inner Wisdom. They are experts in artificial intelligence and machine learning. Now, as many of you all know, Ipswich Building Society has been in business for over 160 years, and they provide mortgages and savings uh, to people of the, of East, uh, for people in the east of England. Now, responding to regulatory changes, they needed to comply with the FCA anti-money laundering uh, regulations, and they engaged in a wisdom to use their AI platform leveraging AWS SageMaker to identify cost savings, and most importantly, to ensure that they understood which accounts needed further compliance action. In the past, this process had been done by a person, which was very resource intensive and expensive. Inner Wisdom employed an anomaly detection approach that identified unusual account usage patterns to augment existing rules-based controls. The result um, was that Ipswich Building Society had automated compliance controls and could target staff on meaningful engagements. Another great example of innovation is Gusto and a fabulous partner of ours called Ann Digital. Gusto grew their business 170% year on year, delivering over 1.5 million meals a month to customers. Gusto's wanted to improve their supply chain by leveraging Amazon services. And by using DynamoDB, CloudFormation, CloudWatch, and Lambda, they looked at how they could improve their businesses. First, they focused on improving their PCI service and rebuilt their payment process using checkout.com. Then they wanted to innovate, um, innovate new recipes and really wanted to make sure they captured allergens and dietary requirements for individuals. Thirdly, they wanted to make sure that they were focusing on delivering intelligent package by creating an algorithm that captures the right box size and delivers the, ser the, ser the service to you in the time slot that you want. Just by focusing on package, Gusto on packaging, Gusto was able to save £150,000 a year. A fantastic uh, story. So I hope that this has been enlightening to you today and that you've enjoyed the customer stories that I've shared with you today. For more information on Amazon or more customer success stories, please go to aws.amazon.com to hear more about us and learn more about our solutions. Thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it and have a great one. Thank you. Thank you.